Section 9 champ New Paul's in the Class A Regionals facing Ardsley of Section 1. Ardsley held a four-point lead at halftime, 25-21, and that held through the third quarter as well. New Paul's fans traveled from just minutes down the road. Ardsley fans took the 75-minute trip up the throughway. So here we go, fourth quarter. And junior, Zeke Blauner, had 20 points already but was about to get 10 more in the final frame of this one. Over Axel Rodriguez. Blauner gets the party started. Blauner, like a seamstress, threads the needle for two more. Meanwhile, someone put a lid on New Paul's basket because the Huguenots couldn't get anything to fall. It was the Zeke streak that was putting this once close game out of reach. A 6-0 run turned into a 10-0 run. And the Panthers' defense just kept creating more opportunities and space on the scoreboard. And while these two bigs were playing a rough and tumble game at one end, Blauner was Mr. Finesse at the other. New Paul's couldn't get one single basket to fall in the fourth quarter, and all standout player Axel Rodriguez could do was sit and watch. If the New Paul's season comes to a close, this young team of Huguenots will be able to say wait till next year because aside from Kristen Berta, the other four starters are underclassmen. Ardsley's moving on with a 47-31 win over New Paul's in the Class A Regional Championship. Uh, our guys play with a ton of energy and a ton of confidence. We've been in a lot of close games all year long, and I think, uh, I think it showed tonight. Our leaders, our seniors, our junior, they just took control of the game and did what we do, which is play with poise and effort. What attributed to the win? They're a really good team. We've been watching a lot of films, scouting them a lot. I think we really stuck to the game plan. I think we were super aggressive on offense and defense. And I think we made some shots and they didn't. And that's kind of how basketball goes sometimes. Were you surprised at the way the game went uh, towards the end? Yeah, I was surprised we pulled away. But you know what, this team, I'm never surprised by what they did. You know, and that was unusual. And I think, I, I think that everybody just kind of, I think they pressed. I, I think, you know, we had a couple of looks around the basket. They didn't fall. And I think it got into their heads a bit. Maybe it was our youth. Maybe it's uh, not being on this stage or, or what have you. But, you know, that's where I think that they're going to learn from it. They have nothing to hang their heads about. It's a tough environment, and there's a lot of pressure when you're playing at home in front of in your hometown. We just pretty much played team defense the whole time. The fourth quarter, we stepped it up. And, like, in the fourth quarter, we had each other's backs, and we had like the crowd, we fit off the crowd's energy pretty much. I feel like I played like I feel like I played really well. As soon as I hit the three in the corner for the N1, I knew it was gonna be a big night. I knew I could I knew I could cause some serious damage once I once I was feeling it. This place was filled with Ardsley fans. They took the trip up. Oh yeah, our pack is probably the best pack. I'ma say in all of New York State. Even though like even though we're probably one of the smallest, we just travel as a whole community pretty much. <laughs>